with a plantain, with a plantain, yo. With a plantain, with a plantain, yo. Here's one, two, three. Where's four? Are you being serious? Yeah, where is it? It's behind you next to the cake. Oh. Welcome to Gigi Mix. Today I'm going to show you four ways to cook plantain. I'm going to show you how to bake it, boil it, fry it and grill it. And at the end I'm going to show you my favourite way to eat it. But I'll give you a hint now. It's a healthy breakfast straight snack and I like to serve it with a Greek ingredient. Um, because I'm Greek and Greek people always eat something Greek. And if you follow me on Instagram you probably know what I serve it with because I'm always posting about it all the time and if you're not following me on instagram why not i post baking disasters um, recipe testing behind the scenes footage of when we're filming travel family life stuff like that so if you're interested in following me on instagram i leave a link to my instagram account below for those of you that don't know what plantains are they're like giant bananas and you can buy them green yellow yellowy brown and like completely browny black so the darker the plantain the sweeter it is and the greener the plantain the more savoury it is um, and even though these plantains look like bananas they don't actually taste like bananas because bananas are like sweet and you eat them like a raw fruit whereas these are these are plantains are better off eaten as um, cooked vegetable because they're full of so much starch and the last difference between plantains and bananas is the skin. The skin of the plantain is so, so thick. So I wouldn't advise you trying to, look at this, trying to peel it with your hands, it's not gonna work. So you're better off peeling the skin with a knife, like cutting the top and bottom off and then pulling it off like that because you're gonna have a really hard job trying to do it with your fingers. Okay, so let's get on to cooking. First, I'm gonna show you how to boil your plantain. Bring a large pan of salted water to the boil and whilst it's boiling, wrap your plantain in foil. I'm using a green skin plantain because I don't want it to taste too sweet when I serve it with my jollof and stew. But you can use whatever colour plantain you like. Then when your water is bubbling, add your plantain and leave it to boil on a medium heat for about 30 minutes or until when you unwrap your foil and a fork can pierce in smoothly. My second way to cook plantain is to bake it. It's just like the way you boil it, but in the oven. Cover your plantain with foil, then place it on a baking tray and cook it at 200 degrees for 30 minutes or when you unwrap the foil and a knife can cut into it easily. My third way is how I like to snack on plantain. Cut the ends of your plantain and peel the skin. Then cut half a centimetre thick coins and place them on a baking tray. Sprinkle over chilli flakes on half of them for a healthy version of Ghanaian Keloele and cinnamon on the other half for a Greek twist. Then grill them until the sides start to brown, then flip them over and grill the other side and then you can dig in. My last way is my favourite way. Pull your plantain and cut it into long slices, then in a non-stick pan, heat a teaspoon of coconut oil. When it has melted, add your plantain and cook until it caramelises and becomes nice and golden. Then flip over your plantain and fry it until it's caramelised on that side too. Then serve it over some thick Greek yogurt, a sprinkling of frozen blueberries, a drizzle of honey and a dusting of cinnamon. Yeah, this is my kind of breakfast. Now it's time for me to dig in. Yeah, I love this. This is uh, tasty. Just the smell of it makes me excited. Mm. This plantain. It's like when you eat it, it's a bit like a banana, a little bit. 
If you've cooked bananas before, it tastes a bit like bananas, but it's caramelized, so it's made it sweet. But then also it's got a bit of coconut oil hint to it. And then because it's warm and then the, the cream, the cream, the green yogurt is cold. You've got the contrast of the hot of the plantain with the coldness of the Greek yogurt. Then the plantain is done a bit crispy, so a bit crunchy on the edges, which works perfectly with the creaminess of the yogurt. And then the blueberries. Mm. Make it taste fruity. The cinnamon gives it some spiciness. Not hot spiciness. A little bit of spiciness. That flavour spice. And the sweetness. A little bit of honey. So make everything sweet. Can't go wrong with some nice Greek honey. <laughs> if you want to make plantain, I suggest the first way to cook it when you first try it is to fry it a little bit of coconut oil and eat it like this. You'll love it. Yes, it's so tasty. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share and if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos please subscribe below. So until next time, bye!